Hey, what up? Uh, let's look at your defense. So go to classroom. If you haven't already, uh, you'll need to join the class, which you should have already been invited. I'm, I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you've already done all this, though. Okay, Wagner Senior Defense, 2020-2021. Uh, okay. It's always best to go to classwork to find your classwork. Uh, in time, you'll see more stuff here. There'll be some examples of past defenses uh, to help give you an idea of what, what this should look like, and then maybe, you know, a little inspiration for what you might do. Here's an assignment that's been assigned to this student. And let's just go through the directions really quickly. Um, as of now, for the NTI version of the backpack, until and if things change, until then, um, you only need to complete and submit a completed slideshow. So if you complete your slideshow, then uh, for now, that's going to be good enough. So you're going to go to the showcase. If you've never seen that, uh, that's fine. I'll show you in just a moment what all that looks like, but just so we're through the directions once. Two, you're going to click plus to create a showcase. Rename your showcase with your last name and first name. You're going to go add a Google slide presentation, and the one you're going to add is the one that I've assigned you that is um, connected to this assignment. Okay. Uh, and that's the one you will you will add to your showcase. Uh, follow the directions on the slideshow. So the rest of your directions are going to be on the slideshow and what you need to do. And follow the directions on the slideshow to uh, get it turned in. And then there's just a few notes. Again, the requirements for the defense are found on the slideshow that's been made for you. All of your artifacts that you've added to your backpack can be found in the showcase, and that's why we're going to use it. It's just going to make it easy on you to find your stuff. Um, if you have things, if you have work or whatever that's not in um, the backpack up till now, you, of course, are more than welcome to add things, and people have to do that every year. So you're fine to add stuff. If you are new or newish to Wagner or the district, you can just use work from other schools. Okay, um, if that's if, that, if you're still struggling, just holler. We'll try to figure something out. But uh, just know that whatever work you've done in high school is is good enough. Um, as questions arise, you know, again, look for support within classroom. I'll be putting some stuff in here to help you all out. And then if you need anything. Um, just holler at me. Okay, email's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can you can uh, uh, the Google Classroom right now is just between you and me, and I think your counselors have been added. But you can holler at me through Classroom too. Once you have your assignment, you can um, type me messages right there, and I'll get those too. All right. So we're going to go back to the top of our directions here, and it says. Um, to go to the showcase, that's what we're going to do. Check us out, though. She does have a slideshow that's connected here. All right. Okay. It's a link, so you can just click it. It's going to open up the showcase. It's asking me to log in, so I'm going to... Okay. Your screen's probably going to look like this. If you've been at Wagner, no one's ever asked you to create a showcase, so you never have. Up here, top left, you're just going to click Create. Okay. It went ahead and opened it up, just so you can see what it looks like. When you go back to it again, it's going to be sitting there like this. All right. Uh, what I want you to do first, at the top here, it says New Showcase. I want you to change this to last name, comma, space, first name. Okay, that's going to be a big help. All right, people are going to ask about this blurb or audience hook. It says a blurb or audience hook belongs here, add. Um, I don't even know what happens when you click add. Okay, it just brings up a little word processor window. You don't have to do anything there. I don't need anything from you there. Um, if we're looking at our directions, we did one. 
we did two, we did three, um, now we're on four. In the A Google Presentation Belongs Here box, click plus add. So that's what we're going to do. A Google Presentation Belongs Here, add Google Drive. Now, usually it's going to pop up and just have your most recent stuff. If you do this soon after you get the assignment assigned, you're probably just going to see um, your defense slide show, show right up here first, and which is the case now. So I've clicked it. Now in the bottom left, I'm going to press select. Cool. OK, and we've done four and five. We've added the slideshow, the template that's been made for you to the showcase. OK, what this is going to do for you is it's going to have, the showcase is going to allow you just to have one spot where you can go see your presentation, your slideshow, get to it, and then also have that access to your artifacts. You'll see here it says 6 and 7, follow the directions on the slideshow. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if I want to work on this, I'm going to click this button here, uh, this arrow in the top right. It's going to pull it open and slide so I can work on it. Uh, you can see here, though, there's an explanation on what, it, what a defense is and what it means to defend your backpack. Look at the first one, number one, title slide, change the title and your name. Okay. So if it comes here to the first one, you're definitely not going to leave it as your title. You can call it whatever you want, um, whatever it is. Clearly, we're going to change our font size here. And if we have opinions about things, chances are we'll probably want to change our font because we care. Whatevs. All right. Now, on your title slide, of course, you can do whatevs. Whenever you look at the, uh, the examples and stuff, you'll see that people do all sorts of things. Um, I mean, you could just leave it gray like this, but that would be disappointing. OK, moving on. So check it out. That's how long it took me to do step number one. Step number two is you're about me. Um, add at least five facts about yourself. That number is basically arbitrary. Okay, meaning it doesn't. It didn't have to be five. It just put five because it felt like if nothing else, if someone just got five facts about themselves down, then you know the people experiencing your defense would know you a little bit better. So the about me. You can say more. If you had to, I suppose you could say less. Uh, it doesn't have to be in this bulleted format. All of this stuff is here to help you, not to keep you from doing anything you want to do. Um, but, uh, you know, try to tell us about things that people don't know. Like, if you don't need to tell us that you're a 17 or 18 year old, like we know. You don't have to tell us that you go to Wagner, like we know this. Um, tell us things we don't know. Like, you play soccer, or you love SpongeBob SquarePants, or, you know, you stay up till 2 every night playing video games. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Just who are you? What are you into? What are you about? Um, those are the things you want to include. You know, whatever those things may be. You got a job. Um, you're close with your family. You got a dog. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff. Um, when you see the examples, like, Students will put pictures in here, um, so on and so forth. Okay, let us know who you are. Okay. Okay. Um. Show you how quickly this can actually go. I'm going to just do it. Um, mm. 
All right. Now, check, check it. I just did steps one and two. Okay. So ripping through it. All right, here's where it starts to get a little more complicated. So step three, you have to have one artifact from your prepared and resilient learner um, folder from your backpack. If you don't have anything in there, um, you know, think about getting something in there, but just know that you can use stuff um, in other folders as long as it meets the criteria for prepared and resilient learner. And honestly, all that really means is that you accomplish something um, and usually we're, what we're looking for are things that took a while to do. So not an assignment you did in two days, but maybe something that took two weeks, something that took a little more from you than just your, your regular everyday classwork. All right. So if we come down here, you'll see that there's nothing in these folders. I'll tell you why. Because right now we're looking at whatever's in this school year. Um, like this school year's backpack and she just hasn't had anything for the school year but all your other stuff is in here so if we click on prepared resilient learner and we go to add here and then artifacts you'll see that she has stuff from 20 from 2019 2020 and then stuff from 2018 2019 so um one thing it would be nice if you, know, you could really see what these things are, um, but we're just doing the best we can do here. So let's just pick something. Independent reading project. I think that came from my class, so it's probably cool. All right, it is. So now that it's in here, like selected it, okay, um, you have the first one that you're going to use done. Now you just have to, you know, you might want to open it, take a look at it, remind yourself. You'll go to your prepared and resilient learner slide, and you're just going to answer these questions. Okay. Um, now you don't have to write whole paragraphs here, even if you have that much information. You know, you can make bullets on the slides here. So, what is this artifact you're going to have to tell us? Okay. Why are you proud of it? Um, how does it help you become someone who is a prepared and resilient learner? Resiliency meaning like someone who will keep going when they get knocked down. You keep going. And how has it helped prepare you for the future? Now, you might need to make your text boxes bigger if that's what you want to do. But know that on the rubric, you know, you need to have some sort of image uh, or the artifact itself inside your slideshow presentation. Here it is. Now, what's cool about hers in this instance is that the product was really a, a video. So I'm just going to control C, just copy that thing and see if I can just throw it in here and I could. So that can be her version of getting the artifact or an image of the artifact inside her slide. Okay. And you know what you can do too is you can put in as many slides as you need. You're not limited to the amount that are in here. So for this one, I'm going to just give it its own slide, I guess. OK. As I can, I'm going to throw a border on it. And then just what ifs. OK. So now her artifact is like legit in there. Okay, now, moving on to Artifact 2. So for Artifact 2, you just have to choose something from one of the other folders. So we had Prepared and Resilient Learner, which you have to have an artifact from there, of course. But then after that, you just need to pick two artifacts from any two other folders. So it can be something from your Effective Communicator folder, Emerging Innovator, Globally and Culturally Competent Citizen, 
uh, productive collaborator, and then school signature item. As of now, our school signature item is just any like pathway certification you would have earned um, through your academy. Okay, and if you don't have one, that's totally fine. Doesn't matter. So one more time, you need one, two, three artifacts for your defense, one from the prepared and resilient learner folder, and then one from two other folders. Okay, if you're choosing. Effective communicator, you know, presentations, um, times you've had to express yourself um, and writing work for effective communicator. Um, emerging innovator, you know, learning to do things that are um, original or new um, or learning foundational skills that make it so that you could eventually create something new. So, you know, imagine things in like science class and um, experiments and things like that. Globally and culturally competent citizen, uh, things about understanding the world, making the world a better place, um, having a, a bigger worldview. Uh, that's globally and culturally competent citizen. And then productive collaborator, working with other people, right? Uh, group projects and such. Okay, so just because I'm going to click on Effective Communicator and just see what's available. If I click Add again in Artifacts, you'll see again it's on 2021, so there's nothing in there. But if we go back to 2019, 2020, there's stuff in here. And they're color-coded, so like I'm looking for yellow. Um, let's click this one. Why not? Also for my class. I think a different class than the first one I had or two years in a row. Okay, so now I have them in here in my showcase. Very good. So the effective communicator one, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to open this one up. Um, it just so happens, I think, that this is another video, which would be lucky for her. Because videos, slideshows, they're super easy to get into your presentation. Um, the same cannot be said for papers, which you can get them in there and you will have to, but it's just a little bit more of a process. So her artifact here again is a video, but check this out. This is a whole slide. So I'm just going to click on the slide on the left-hand side, Control-C or right-click copy. So I'm going to do Control-C. Okay, anyway, Control-C to copy. I'm going to go back over here to her slideshow. And this is for Effective Communicator. So I'm going to paste that in. So since it was just on its own slide, I just copied the whole slide and dropped it right in. You can do the same thing for presentation slideshows you've made. Just copy the slides that you want and just paste them right in after your um, after that skills uh, question slide. <laughs> OK, so same deal. I'm supposed to go into Effective Communicator. Come back here and just, just need to answer the questions, right? What is it? Why are you proud of it? How did it help you become an effective communicator? Like, how did it, I would ask her, how did it help you become better at communicating? Or how does it show that you are an effective communicator? Either way is an appropriate way to answer that question. and. How has the, the improvement or showcasing of this skill, you know, how does it help prepare you for the future? Now, this three, four, and five, these are the things that are going to take the longest. Getting your one, two, and three artifacts chosen and into your presentation and the questions answered, that's the most time consuming thing. So, for skill three, same deal, just one more thing from a folder you haven't used. I'm going to go to artifacts. You can see now it's already on 2019, 2020. Um, I'm going to specifically look for a certain file type here. And there isn't any in that category, so I'm going to go somewhere else. Uh, globally and culturally competent citizen. Maybe I'll find something. OK, good. So here's a paper, and that's what I want to see. There we go. So this is the paper. All right. Um, still want the artifact inside inside the slideshow now let's say this was a six page paper you don't need a six page paper inside of your slideshow um, nobody's going to read it but it does help and it is important to have 
a piece of it in there so that people can see it and feel that it is real. Okay. And just because of the way that it is, papers are kind of the most annoying thing to deal with. Um, I guess knowing that going in might be helpful. Uh, but I'm going to show you really quickly, and I'll put these directions in uh, the materials for anyone who needs them, but check it out. File, download. I'm going to download this as um, a PDF. Okay. Then I'm just going to go to a little website called PDF to jpeg.net. There are plenty of websites that do this, uh, but this one is really easy. So I'm going to choose a PDF and uh, I'm going to grab the one I just made. Okay. So I selected my PDF I just downloaded, convert PDF to JPEG. And no matter how long it was, like if it was 10 pages, it would have the option here to download each page one at a time. Okay, you're probably just going to go to page one, click download. Now that thing is a picture. Okay, so I can come up here to globally and culturally competent citizen. What I'm going to do is insert image, upload from computer, and I'm just going to insert it. Okay, as a picture. And just because. I'm going to make it smaller. Uh, throw a border on it because I can. And then just move it over, make it look nice. OK. All right, so briefly, that's how you can turn um, a paper into a picture to get inside your slideshow. Again, probably the most cumbersome thing you'll have to do. Okay, so Artifact 3 is in there. She can answer her four questions. And then one, two, three artifacts are in. She's done the majority of the work. Okay, because it's, it's about your work. It's about your artifacts. So getting the three of them in there and um, uh, answering the questions extensively is most of the work. That should lead us to step six, I think which is delete the three unused skill slides. So there are six slides in here for artifacts. You only need three of them, so that means there should be three left over. For her, it's these three. I'm just deleting them. Okay, they just need to go. As per the district instruction, you need to include plans for the future inside of your defense. I gave you some questions to help you do this. What are you doing after you leave Wagner? What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? What steps will you take to meet your goals? How has Wagner helped prepare you to meet this goal or these goals, whichever it may be? Um, you know, if you don't have any plans for the future, this will definitely be like a helpful opportunity to, to get some. So that's cool. As far as an image, some people put like, you know, logos or pictures of the school they intend to go to, um, pictures of the places that they work. Uh, I've seen a number of college acceptance letters on this slide, which is always rad. So um, lots of options there. Just get something in there. Number eight, conclusion. Add any final thoughts and things to this slide. You'll see the slide just says conclusion. You need to put something there. Um, you know, any sort of final thoughts, anything to wrap it up, any sort of thank yous. Uh, if you were presenting this live, you definitely would want to be asking uh, the panel, if they have any questions, um, not a lot of support built into this one, but I know you're going to come up with something solid, and uh, it's going to be great. All right. Nine. This one gets overlooked quite a bit. Change the background. Change the fonts. Make this look like your thing. I'm, ha I was, I'm happy to provide a template to make this as easy as possible. Uh, because in the end, it's more about your work that you've done in high school than you learning how or knowing how to make a slideshow. That said, it feels a little weird when I have to look at 100 of them, and they all look way too similar. So do me um, and yourself a favor and do step nine. <laughs> um, make it look like your thing, okay? Uh, back Putting backgrounds in is none too difficult. Uh, there's a background button. You know, you could easily just go to color, or gradient, and just, you know, pick something. Okay. 
if I did right here, click add to theme, it would just throw it on all of the backgrounds. And look, now it's got a green background. And if I wanted to, I um, wouldn't need to change that one, but you know, this one, the about me, like, well, that was my font. You want your own, and you're feeling, you're feeling some yellow. Look at that. All of a sudden, it just doesn't look like, doesn't look like my thing anymore. Okay. As far as images go, you can, you know, search, search from the web, upload from your Chromebook or your computer. Um, you can insert GIFs. Uh, some people get down on that. I totally get it because it's fun. So, for example, here. BBA hanging out. Just put them down here to be all cute and such. Those sequel movies did a whole lot wrong, but they did not mess up making BB-8 super cute. Okay, so he's in there. All right. <laughs> Make it your own, please. Go back to showcase. Okay. And once you do that, it says click the three dots in the top right and just click Marcus Defense Ready. This will just give me a little indicator that uh, you feel like you're done and I can go grade that thing. Okay. So up here, oh, sorry. Three dots, Marcus Defense Ready. Okay. And then you'll see this icon up here changes to Defense Ready. Now you can click it and go back to Marcus Draft. Like if I said, hey, you probably want to work on that. Um, but Marcus Defense Ready. There's a little disclaimer at the bottom. It says, you can format this any way you like. You can delete slides, make your own slides, make more slides, answer the questions on slides um, in any way you see fit. Um, this template's meant to help you, not to hinder your creativity. So I want you to do you. Uh, don't let this thing hold you back. All right. Piece of cake. Delete the first two slides when you're done. You just don't need them in there. Okay. Not when you're finished. Delete. Look at us go. Fantastic. This is probably a really long video, but hopefully by the end of it, you have a super solid handle on what in the holy heck you need to do. Okay. Cool. Um, like I said earlier, holler if you need anything. Later.